Hi, how's it going? Hope you had a good week. I'm Troy Bernie Meyer with LessonsWithTroy.com. Well, today's lesson is one of my favorite ones I've ever written out. I've written out 36 what I like to consider classic licks uh, for the resonator guitar, aka the dobro. These licks go great over G chords, some go over C chords, over D chords, and of course you might be able to put them over E minor, A minor, and you might find some other chords to put them over. But um, what I've done is I've written these out, 36 of them. Some of them are real similar to the others. And what I've done is I might start off a lick that might be maybe a, a simple lick, and then I kind of build onto that lick to make it more complex so that you can start off kind of easy and then work into uh, stringing some of these licks together to make a longer lick. Okay, if you bought the video, I've included five MP3 practice tracks where it's about a minute and a half or so of just one chord. So it'll be just the G chord played and you can play these, uh, these licks that are over the G chord you know, with this practice track to practice with them. I've done the same thing for a C chord, for a D chord, for an E minor chord, and for an A minor chord. And so this video set, it's actually two videos. The first video set I'm going to actually show you all 36 licks the way I do, close-ups of the left hand, close-ups of the right hand. And then um, the second video is we're going to practice them. So I'm assuming you've, you've learned the licks and then we're just going to put on the practice tracks and then I'll show you how to uh, play them in rhythm with uh, the band playing. Well, we've got a lot to learn, so go ahead and print out your tab. If you got the tab, set it on the stand in front of you and let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so for lick number 24, lick number 25, 26, and 27, they're all real similar. They're all based off this same kind of idea. In the last lick, we were working on um, ideas off this, these two strings, your first string and your second string. And we're going to continue on with that. And I wanted to show you this really neat lick that I hear a lot of people do. And then we're, I'm going to show you how to move it around to make it sound just a major, you know, work over a major chord and also to work over a dominant seventh kind of chord. Okay, let me show you. Here's a, over a G7 chord. And this is lick number 24. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, there's it in its most basic form. That's over a G7 chord, right? I'm here on my third fret. Now say I wanted to play it over a G chord. Real simple. Just move it up here to your 12th fret. Right? So we'll go through that in the other licks, you know, how to kind of move it around. But let me show you a close-up of the left hand. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Now a lot of what's happening in this lick is happening with my right hand with some pick blocking. And this is a great lick to really work on pick blocking. Um, Okay, so let me show you first the close-ups of the left hand, show you exactly what's going on with this leg. Okay, so actually the right, left hand doesn't look like anything too dramatic's happening. I'm just keeping my bar straight here so that, you know, I can hit these, and it's all the, all the action's happening here on my first string and my second string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that first string, and then I'm going to, I'll show you with the right hand in just a second, but then I'm going to mute it out. And then when I hit this, I muted out exactly when I hit the second string. And then I'm going to slide from three down to two, back to three. All on my second string. Just like that. And that's all one hit. So I hit um, my first string, third fret. Muted out exactly when I hit my second string. And then I'm going to slide it down and then slide it back up. So it ends up being a nice 16th note pattern. One, E, and a. Right? So I just end it with this. Um, now what I do when I restart this leg, this is something that I do with the left hand, is real quick I bring my bar, I tilt it up, to mute out what was ringing um, the, the second string. So I'll show you real slow. So first string, third fret. And then I hit my third fret on my second string. As soon as I do that, I mute out my first string. 
bring it back up, and when I start this lick again, I just just slightly tilt my bar up, and that mutes out these uh, the last last strings that were ringing out. See how I do that? It doesn't need to be real dramatic. All you got to do is just move it up just enough to where these fingers can't stress enough. Always have these back here muting, muting behind your bar. over a G7 chord there. That's that's uh, it's a G7 chord once again, like I said before, because it's based off this F natural note, which is our dominant seventh, our minor seventh in the key of G, and it's also you're hitting this D natural note, which is the fifth of your chord. So as you can tell when you play that. It's gonna give you a nice bluesy sound. Okay, let me show you exactly what's going on with this pick blocking with the right hand. Okay, so we're on lick 24, and this same finger pattern is going to go for lick 24, lick 25, 26, and 27. Basically, when I show you how, how to move this around um, to different chords, right? Okay, so um, here's what it looks like with the right hand. So real slow. I'll show you what I'm doing. See how my hand is always right by the strings? So whenever I'm, I'm, you know, ever need to, I can mute things out. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but also my pinky, a lot of people play with their pinky straight out like that. I don't know, I just never did. But my pinky curls up, and a lot of times when I need it to, it can mute out strings, you know, at least my higher strings when I need it to. Okay, so that's, that's a technique you can look into as well. But real slow, it's... Okay, see how I, I start off with that third fret, first string, and when I get ready, super slow motion, you're going to see it as soon as I hit this second string, boom, my middle finger comes down and mutes out the first. That's over G7 chord. Let's go ahead and I'll show you, I'll zoom out here and I'll show you how to move this around over some other chords. But that's what you're looking at as far as the right hand and some of that pick blocking. As soon as you hit the first string and then when you get hit that second string with your thumb, boom, your fingers come down and I just do it with my middle finger. Basically my thumb and middle just hit both those strings at the same time. Okay, let me show you how to move this around over to some different chords. <laughs> 